previously on Realize TV. So you're telling me the only way for me to drink water in this place is through this stupid water dispenser? Yes. I have a garden hose outside too. A garden hose? What am I, like a peasant or something? No, but you're a guest. An unwanted one. Why did you invite me then? I didn't invite you, you just showed up. That is not, okay, that's beside the point, dude, because I'm actually really thirsty. That's the point. It's Sunday. And you have a camera in your hand. Why do you not have a camera in your hand? Sunday is the day for filming. Sunday is the Lord's Day. I want to rest. Well, I'm thirsty. And how can I get some water up in here? I have some water that you can have here. See? Just what? enough. What am I, a mouse? There's, look. That was barely dribbling. Look, if you want water, I've got a jug if you want to change it. Give me the camera. You I want me to change please. the jug? You yes. want me to change the jug? Yes, you should change the jug because you want the water. I don't understand why you have a water dispenser in your house to begin with. Because it's fresh and it's cheaper than buying the 36 pack. It's Nestle. Tastes like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate? <laughs> How do you even, okay, I've low key never done this. I don't work in an office setting. Do you, you just never had responsibilities as a child? Dude, this, this thing is that really thing's heavy. too heavy for you. <laughs> thing is really... I'm gonna give you a little dinky arms. I'm gonna rip off like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna spill out the bottom. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Seriously, Chuck, help me out. All you gotta do is, there you go. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's plenty. I'm thirsty. Can I get some water? Like, is that okay? Oh. Who's that? Oh. Hey, what? What is that? These are my fans. Open it. Amazon Prime delivery. You know, it's Sunday. They delivered it on Sunday, but it came so early. But, well, remember in the last video, my last track day, my fans broke. Or one fan wasn't spinning, right? Remember? Uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so I ordered fans, and this was here in less than 24 hours. What? Scissors? What is that? That's a freaking machete. We're closer to the kitchen. Use a machete to open your boxes? You gotta watch where you swing oh, that thing. thing. does not cut. That's out, man. really surprising considering how massive it is. Why did they put it in such a big box? Oh, nice, Chuck. You got a box inside of a box. Oh, great. Oh. All right. Oh, wow. We got them. Are they the same ones you had before? Yeah, made in America. All right, well, let's put these things on. This is actually my last thing that I need to do before final bout. So, glad they came. Let's do it. And by let, you mean you. me. Right. Did you bring the coolant? Did I bring the coolant? Now? Do you know what time it you is? You were supposed to! Do you, you were supposed to! I love it when you think ahead and buy the coolant before we start shooting. I texted you to bring the coolant. Me to bring the coolant? Why would I buy your coolant? The problem is you only think of yourself. We wow. have a word for people like you. Okay. Say it. Sell fish. Seriously. 
seriously? Which one were you gonna get? AutoZone brand. There's one that says for Asian vehicles. Whoa. That's kind of racist. Come on. You ready? I'm waiting for you. Is that all you need? Are you sure? Let's get ice cream. Ice cream? Now what? I'm gonna go home and finish what I started. Let's just finish this already. The sun is literally about You're to go down. You're still in a bad mood after getting ice cream? No. Then? Okay, let's go. Oh my god. What? Make sure you put it somewhere rickety so your hood falls on your head. I don't have butt connectors. No, you're, that doesn't mean what I think you're saying it means. There's no sexual innuendo referenced. It's literally, I don't have any butt connectors. <sighs> we have to go to Home Depot right now? Maybe Harbor Parade. Oh my god. Yeah, you might just have some laying around here. Oh, I do! Nice! Are these big enough? Come on, dude. Help me out a little bit here. <gasps> what? Hey, my lens! Come on, man. Come on, man, what? Hurry up. Patience is a virtue, Teddy. I don't even know what a virtue means. Were you taught anything as a child? No. I forgot you're here just to film. I'm here to help. Yeah, look what you did. Wow, you did that all by yourself. All right, pull it out, let's go. What did I tell you about patience, dude? Squirrel. Huh? You're really something else, Teddy. Why? You get the money shot? Yeah, what kind of radiator is that? It's coil radiator. Coil radiator? Yeah. Wow, since when have you had one of those? Keeps us chilling. Holy cow. Yeah. Those are supposed to be amazing. Yup. They are, actually. So, is that your power? Fan harness? Where are the connectors? Okay, well, the other day, Jason texted me and he's like, oh, I didn't put connectors on yours. He thinks that the connectors that he uses create some type of resistance because they melt. So he didn't put connectors on mine. So you can't just drain this once, you have to drain it three times? Well, because what came out initially was from the lower hose. And there are other different hose and area codes. <sighs> I knew you were gonna say that. So Chuck, how does triple pass technology work? Well, you see, you see this weld that is welded at the third of the radiator, that's to put the split in there. And then there's another weld down here to put the other split so the water goes like one, two, three. Wait, is that really how that works? Those three passes. I thought you were kidding, but maybe you're actually dropping some serious knowledge. How do you think I got this far in life? Hmm. These fans are actually really old, Teddy. I got them when I had my first one, Jay. So they're at least 10 years old. You can tell there's a lot of bearing play. And this is the one that, that went out. It works intermittently. So like my, oh. fan, my fans will work, this side will work and the other, it won't. Um, you can tell by how much they wiggle. Oh my God. When you say I drive an S13. Here it is. Let me show you how, so this one doesn't wiggle. The other ones are like clinky clanky. Looks nice and fresh. Yeah. So fresh and so clean, clean. Boom, just like that. Done? Yeah, and the rubber seal does the rest. Teddy, did you know that coil also not only cools your coolant, but your oil too? They do? Yes. What do you mean? 
This is for my power steering because I steer the car really quick and fast. Wow, really? Yes. Wow. And this bigger one is for the engine oil because the engine is revving really fast and the car is going really fast. Because everything is really fast and the oil doesn't have a chance to cool down until it gets to the Koyo Rad oil cooler. So really, you wouldn't be able to drive this car as well as you can without the Koyo Rad power steering cooler, oil cooler, and radiator installed in this 1JZ 240SX. I honestly probably wouldn't be able to drive it at all. Just like that, Teddy. Kind of like Legos. Kind of like Legos. Ah! What an idiot. I'm just not a big fan of you. You know? It's funny because Flexalite is not a very big fan. Oh no. Of, ye of you. No. Gotta put this on. Right? Right, Teddy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Ugh. Put one foot up. This is Princess Diaries. You know what we forgot to do? What? Thumbnail. For this? Oh. With the radiator out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just got done putting my radiator in. And Teddy is taking it back out. Why are you taking it back out? I don't know, Chuck. Why don't you tell the viewers why we're taking it back out? You are taking it back out because you forgot to take the thumbnail picture. I said, don't let me forget to take the thumbnail picture before we put the radiator in. And what did you do? You went and put the radiator in. I didn't say that. I, and told, I told you to remind me to do that before we put it in. And then you put it in and so I said, Oh, well, Chuck, you're gonna have to take it out. And you didn't want to do it because you're the most unhelpful person I know. So guess what? I have to take matters into my own hands now. Look. And take your stupid radiator back out so we can get the thumbnail. Otherwise, this video is gonna get no views. All I want to say is that crack kills, okay? <laughs> Hurry, quicker, faster. Working on your car. Yes. Which is probably a pleasure to work on because there's no oil or any axle grease anywhere. I gotta walk over there and strangle you right now. Like your pickup part LKQ ass R32. <laughs> wow. That's low, dude. Your car is actually not that low. Hey, watch right. out with the fins, dude. Let's take the stupid photo. Here. You hold that. Man, those fans look good. Yeah, they do. Made in America. All right, man, come on. Just like hold the radiator up. Like this? Yeah, and look excited or something. I'm looking excited. Look excited. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Hey, so. God, do you think you could help me get down now? Chuck? What? Can you help me get down? You can't just stay up there for a little bit? No! Here, can I hand this to you? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Why are, you, why are you doing this um, to me? Come on, man. You look like a chump. Can you just bring me the chair? Look how not high it is. It's not high from down there, but it's pretty high from up here. Use your arm strength to lower yourself down slowly. Arm strength? Do you see these? I do. Do you see these? <laughs> like little water guns. Okay, hurry. Bring me the chair, the chair, the, the, the chair, the chair. Come on, man. What do you, what do you, dude, what's on the other side? Oh, I'm on your neighbor's shed. I'll go. Oh god. Oh. 
<laughs> Why? Why are you now use your that? arms. Use your arms now. Come on, man. <laughs> yep. Straight down. Jesus. That was hilarious. Right, now can we get back to work? Yeah, let's get back to work. What are you doing? I was getting the lower, the lower hose. Didn't you already do that once? Yes, I did that once. You undid it. Damn! <laughs> Yes. Man, I just want to go to sleep. You use a Greddy box to go on the floor? Yeah, man. Man, you fancy. Wow, you fancy. What are you doing? I'm crimping the connectors together. All right? Oh. Fair enough? Fair enough. You look fabulous from this angle. Hey, can you pass me the orange pliers up there? Orange pliers? Yeah. The small little orange cutters. I don't see any orange cutters up here. Okay, well, can you find some? They're somewhere because they were out here. Oh, God. Orange cutters. Oh. Orange cutter. You can go check. No! You said orange cutter. Please. No! No! This no, one? No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Go. That's it? Second fan's not working. You're lying. I'm not serious. You're lying. Seriously. You're lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> Are you saying potentially that your fans were actually still good? There's a chance. <laughs> oh my god. No way. No way. No way. It's only one, right? Not no way. Why? <laughs> so you're saying your fan's probably still good? They intermittently worked, but well, we had at track we had tested all the different things that could have been wrong with it, like the relay and the wiring and stuff. But Jason ruled all the, all that out because he knows his own wiring. Why does this happen to us, Chuck? I know why. Why? I know why. You know why too. Oh no. You know why. Please, no. You know why. The curse. What's this? It's the curse. <laughs> it's never as easy as you thought it was going to be. This is pure defeat. Oh. <laughs> no. What did you do? Please tell me you just didn't plug it in correctly. Did you stop screwing around? Okay, tell us what's happening. It's Jason's wiring. Really? Yeah. Not that it's his fault, but there's something wrong with one of the connectors that he used. All right, well, they both work now. Whew, crisis averted. However- That means the fans are fine. <laughs> Man, but they do. They do pull a lot better though. All right, so I mean, you're not losing completely. Well, fans were worn, but I mean, I'm really just trying to justify making myself feel better. Right. But definitely Jason Kim's fault. He said his wiring flawless. It can't be his wiring. Oh, How dude. would it be his wiring? It was his wiring. What are you doing? I don't know. Just testing on fans. Secret theory is right. Actually, this side is actually pretty good. Test the other one, test the other one. This is the side that was broken. <laughs> For cooling purposes, the last thing that you want to do is top off your radiator with the coil rad funnel. If you don't do it this way, everything else you did before was all for nothing. Oh, look at that green goodness. 
the monster look energy. At, and look how easy it's going in because thanks to the coil rad funnel. Look, I can do it without, look, my eyes closed. Look, 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 see, look. No problem. Pretty bones about the whole thing. That's crazy because all I had to do was pinch the connector harder or whatever Jason did to fix it. I don't know why you wouldn't have tried that first before spending all that money on these fans. It's not that I didn't try the connectors. We did everything at track and Jason checked the relays under the dash at track and he was like, it's the fence. What's that noise? It sounds like your radiator's drowning. Sounds like there's a monster in there. So we've got the Flexalite fans in, and although that wasn't the problem, I've got the peace of mind of brand new fans in there. These things pull super hard. If you want to check those out, we've got the link in the description below. So as far as Final Bob Prep goes, that's it for me, but we've got plenty to do on Gary's car. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and if you liked this video, don't forget to like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.